Okay, let's talk about Icebox, the map that we all love. In this video, we'll dive into a 4-1-B split with Sova being a lurker. Okay, so the composition I choose for this strategy will be Jet, Sage, Raynar, Omen, and Sova. And enemy team was just a mirror matchup. I have the enemy team do a setup that you can very see commonly in a comp match. Wall down tube to block tube passage and an arrow long B long to scout for early info. Before we get into the phase of attack, here are the paths that we would take to, take to B. The main idea of this strategy is to capture a kitchen with excessive force. It's a crucial position for attackers to have control of. It allows to cut off rotation with a player picking out of hut here, coming on off guard, while also allow the entrance to top side of B. Okay, let's get into the phase. First phase of attacks, Sova will do a recon bolt right here on orange. The purpose of the arrow to scan front of orange here, around here to see if any um, player be play B orange aggressive trying to pick down across the tube. Next up, Omen would dark cover right here next to tube where the it allows entrance into underpass while it's cut vision from both boiler and mid pallet. So when the team start moving up with Sova then up the arrow try to progress towards garage for a lurking play. At this point Omen will also do another smoke onto B kitchen window. Because most likely if they're not playing aggressively they'll most likely be playing around here kitchen trying to play probably try to slow up this, um, the push. So we've got to try to cut off that vision. Next up, just in case if the player also here watching, because at this point, um, the other player m might be able to tell that the team's going to go through mid to B, so this player could go around here to help. If if the early Ari here doesn't scout anyone, he could be safely just rotate back for the time being, no one knowing that no one's there yet, to watch mid to B. And to block that vision, Jet can just curve ball, throw a curve off Cloudburst right here, which cut off the vision, allowing the whole team to just swing onto the left. Since this area will be cleared by um, Sova Recon Bolt, the team will just end through under tube here and just swing looking right to see if anyone's on the right or not. Okay, so we at this phase of the attack, the enemy would probably know what's going on. They heard, heard footsteps, they start to calling for rotation. Omen will probably try to come up the kitchen here and try and help Sage. And this guy would probably start rotating and they'd be around here. I'd say Omen will get around here by this time. Just in case, there very well be could be just someone sneak past so he might sit and watch the smoke and not rotate. Keep in mind that this player doesn't know what the attack is up to, the other visions have got cut off. The next step would for Jet to re-smoke the kitchen if, if, it is, if the smoke fade. And you don't smoke it um, deep originally like Omen did. You smoke it around on the box when you jump up and go into kitchen. What it does is that play here, if they got box off vision, you can just go here and try to watch if someone try to jump up into kitchen. And the purpose of that smoke is to block that. Or teammate can just watch. Reyna can leer in. Leer in kitchen. Let's just say Sage fall back because... She got scared she is going, to, or she was slowed here. She probably scared going to get um, picked on. And the team as a four is going to try to brute force up into kitchen. At this point, the Sova tried to watch this angle to see if the B player tried to aggress. If after a time his teammate's already in the position, he should start lurking out green here. To yellow and try to maybe catch the guy on site, this guy right here, and establish the position in yellow for playing post plant and giving his team more control of the map as well as intel. Let's just say that in this scenario, Sage got overwhelmed by the force and she got deleted out of the map. What happens next is the other three player will try to go um, go forward. And by the way, at this point, Sage should also have a wall back here, just in case the mid guy trying to push the wall will straight away stop 
even if you try to lurk here, can't go through underpass, we have to go up to B tube instead. And because initially the defender sage, wait, hold up, should I delete it? Because initially defender sage had a wall here. So two way to enter into kitchen or into mid to B have been blocked by both the walls. Um, this point, and then Sage would probably stay back in kitchen and just stop, just hold hold down this area for his team so he doesn't doesn't get flank. And also, she could just stay here for post plant. And what post plant is, I will explain in a minute. This point, Sova might fall back here because since they got control of kitchen, this guy will be overwhelmed if he just tries to stick around. Um, unless unless the attacker makes mistakes, he can pick them up one by one, but as a pack of three moving in is very overwhelming for the one sole defender. Let's say you fell back to Snowman. Well, at this point, you don't actually need to um, go on to site to plant. Maybe you can just send one player. Because remember that Sovari got yellow here? He got... You, he, he have control over here. And he can just pick here, see if anyone around this area would protect his teammate from getting shot. And the wall's blocked off, no one would have could have gone to orange or mid to B. He could, Doman or anyone off the pack could just plant a bomb on top site right here. And this plant is powerful. Okay, let's just make all the smokes disappear. What happens with this post plant? Maybe they can just drop two player onto site. They want, they can just hold like that. Or one going back and try to hold kitchen with the sage just in case they rotate up here. Sova can just catch anyone who tries to go towards this side. And the thing about this plant is that it is very open for any players who plays around this area or this area. You can just see the person, the whole body is revealed. There's nothing you could hide from. It's behind a box and you can just clearly shoot. The defender, even if it is smoke, it is very easy to spray down. It's a thin code or just a spike. And you can just pick here around the window, just stay on the window, can see the bomb clear, clear as day. Just spray down if you try to fake it, spray down here and he will die. And that's one of the post plant scenario that um that could be played. So here's another scenario that you could do. What you could do is drop down here and um plant for the see-through right here with just teammate watching as long as the plant done the three player can aggro snowman together at this point his teammate will try probably be around here try to take kitchen and one maybe go hot so it is it is possible for the three the pack of three try to aggress the sova back b here and the point is just to aggro and take control of this area so that they could watch the see-through for the plant. It is a very, very cheeky watch. And it works. I've seen it works. So, let's just say Sova could trade out one for one for maybe Reyna. And at this point, you play post plant with 3v4 or 4v4 if Sage managed to fall back and stay alive. And this is good. Um, Sova at yellow here. Look at all the ground that the defenders have. Sova can be just chilling, watching back of here, see if any flankers catch any flankers going, or he can move towards B later on because yeah, there's safe ground. He could travel anywhere he wants to. And this guy just needs to not pick. They just need to play time. They just need to delay this guy as much as possible and play the C3 plant. At this point, if you play, if the player see through, Sage should probably try and get out of kitchen here and play orange instead. It's much easier, and it provides a crossfire. Not not so much of a crossfire, but more pressure on the bomb from more direction. Um, on the spike from more direction, so it's harder to for the defenders to retake. Okay, there's there are. A few points I want to make. So a lot of the time, executing timing and progression, you really start with Sova Recon Arrow. And this strats allow the attacker to change the pacing of the round with Sova being the, the lurker and harder for defender to de detect the execution with Sova not initiating with his utility. Sova could also send Arrow A at the start of the round to mind game the defender and immediately rotate back to B garage for the lurk. That's one of the reasons why I put 
Soeva on work instead of going with the team. Oh, that is for the extent of this video. If you like the video, drop a like button down below. I do stream every Monday to Friday, except Wednesday from 7.30 to late Sydney time. Links also in the description. And that's it for me. Peace out.